Morning chaps, we still have the snow on the floor, but it's not too bad, not too bad. So uh, just waiting for Gemma to come back from school. Uh, she's dropping the kids off. And then we're gonna share the car ride into work, where I'll be doing lots and lots and lots of grinding. Grinding, I think I've decided to put those other two, six, six legs on the other two tanks. It's done then, and uh, I can stand them up out of the way. So, that's today's job. Right, no messing this morning, folks. So we're gonna get this tank down. It's pretty much done. Might just need deburring on the inside of that. It's very nice, very nice. Well, it does and all, yeah. Uh, this tank down, other two fermenters up, legs cut, legs on, welded. Probably gonna take me all day to do this, and I've gotta be away at half past three, three o'clock, to pick up the kids. So, another day of legs on tanks, but uh, two more tanks, and then we've got legs on everything. Looking pretty good. And then I should start to focus mainly on uh, access and lids, because these are high. I need some kind of gantry to walk on, and I need lids for the fermenters. Right, enough procrastinating. Let's get it done. Trying something a little bit different this time. So we've got another purge box in there. And you're all gonna say, yeah, but it's cardboard, it'll set on fire. Possibly. I'm not ruling it out. But it's wide enough to hopefully miss where the main weld is going to be. And it fits much nicer over where I need to purge. So fingers crossed this works. If it does set on fire, I'll whip it back out and I've got some metal tape and I'll extend the bottom down with foil or something like that to keep the heat off it or even some flat copper pipe just to stand it off a little bit and we'll give it another go but that is way better than not back purging at all and guess what baby and guess what baby So six legs, all welded on. Again, beautiful little dabity dabity dab, all the way down there. I mean, it's a beautiful looking weld, if I do say so myself. And on the inside, on the inside, folks, you can see she's just uh, run perfect. I'm, I'm so impressed. That cardboard box did not set on fire. Yes, result. This is just staining on the inside. I back purged, as you know, and it worked a treat. There was only one little incident with the back purge Rooney, and that was where it uh, was a little bit close to the weld, but it didn't even set on fire, it just scorched, so I just changed it. Three beautiful looking tanks 
And then that with those boys next to these three, we've about cracked it, haven't we, folks? I'm glad I decided to do that this morning. Seeing all the five tanks, six tanks stood, giving me a real sense of achievement. So I now know what I need to be doing to carry on. I need to strengthen the legs for a start. I nearly bent the leg on the boil kettle. So a bit of box section was always the plan, but I'm definitely gonna do that sooner rather than later in between the legs to give them some, some support. Uh, then we've got to cut some lids for the fermenters. The boil kettle, I think we're gonna go with a half removable lid, half fixed lid, and then incorporate a chimney onto that somehow. I'm not sure where we're gonna send the chimney out. I think we're gonna leave them in this corner, so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. The, then, of course, the rest of the outlets need to go on to the tanks. There's only one on this fermenter there. Uh, but as it is now, chance is bothering me. Not your chancy pants. He knows it is time to go and pick the kids up. Come on then, buddy, let's go. Oh my goodness, folks. It's quarter to nine. So I picked up the kids, did my chores and errands, and we came back and I sat down in front of the computer at approximately half past five. And basically what I've done is, because we're in new premises, I've had to reapply for the brewery license. These things I will all run through with you on a separate video. It's not suitable for tonight. It'll make it run on into the early hours of the morning. But in a nutshell, we've had to reply, reapply for the brewery license under the name of Harrison's Brewery at the new premises, which included submitting a plan, a floor plan, We've had to apply for um, an alcohol wholesale registration number, which I couldn't do because we also had to register the company, Harrison's Brewery, because it isn't trading yet. Uh, we had to register it as a partnership. It will be a limited company down the line, but at the minute we don't need it to be, it's a partnership. And then, because I've done that, I had to register for the government gateway to get on there and register the partnership. Unbelievable the amount of hoops that you had to jump through. And while I was doing that, I had to jump onto my government gateway. And to do that, I needed to answer security questions, give them how much money I earned in the last tax year, what my unique tax reference code is. Remember the frigging password and the government... I mean, who's going to break in, right? Who's going to break in to my government gateway profile? What are they gonna do? Pay my tax for me? Fucking let them break in, man. Obviously, these guys working for the government, I haven't got a fucking clue. I haven't got a clue. So anyway, I've spent all evening doing that, and now I've gotta sit down and edit the vlog at nine o'clock. The joys. So I think what I'll do, when it's a rainy day, we'll whip out the pencil and I'll run through all of the application forms that you have to submit to start up a brewery. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless uh, unless you've got your own outlet because we've had bad news today. I hear that Dave Bailey from Hard Knot is, uh, is wrapping up over there and uh, the word on the grapevine with Ciba is uh, it looks like there's a strong possibility of a breakaway organization because they feel that Seba isn't representing the small brewer, and I'd have to agree. I'd have to agree. Uh, anyway, I don't want to get too far into politics on a on a Monday night vlog, so I'm going to wrap it up, get it edited, post it for you, and we will see you Tuesday morning, bright and early, eight o'clock. That's the time the uploads go. See you then. Mm -hmm.